translation, the eyes which do not look at the symbolic representations of the personality of Godhead, Vishnu, his forms, name, quality, etc., are like those printed on the plumes of the peacock, and the legs which do not move to the holy places where the Lord is remembered are considered to be like tree trunks. Uh, the peacock plumes, they look like eyes painted, but it has no power to see. Similarly, if we do not see the forms of the Lord, just like in this temple we are seeing, then these eyes are to be considered as painted eyes, not real eyes. Simply uh, just uh, appearing like eyes, it has no use. Uh, the human form of life, the eyes are there, particular eyes, to see the forms of the Lord, eye to eye. And uh, because our present position is that with these material eyes we cannot see the Lord in His spiritual form. Therefore, the Lord has kindly appeared before us in a manner uh, in which we can see. The, hmm, the forms of the Lord is not imagination. They say that they imagine some form. Sadhakanam hitarthaya brahmana rupa kalpana. The Mahabadi philosophers, due to their poor fund of knowledge, they think that the absolute truth is formless. But because we cannot meditate upon formless, something formless, let us imagine some form. Uh, image. Nidvisesvādi, nirākārvādi, the imagine form. Therefore that philosophy is that any form you like, you can concentrate. Uh, because after all, there is no form. But for your present facility, you can imagine some form. Uh. But there is also mistake on their part, because they say, uh, imagine any form. Generally they prescribe the form of Lord Shiva, the form of Lord Vishnu, the form of uh, Durga, the form of the sun, and the form of Ganesh. Panchupāsana, these five forms. But ultimately you become formless. The example given by them is that you rise up to a upper place with a wooden stair, and as soon as you reach there, you throw it up so that you will not be able to come back again. Similarly, there are philosophies with some imagination of form, you are seen, and as soon as you realize Brahma, throw it away. No more. These are all imagination. Actually, there is no fact. They do not know the actual position of spiritual life. Therefore, they are personally misled and they mislead others also. Here it is particularly mentioned 
లింగాని విష్ణు ది ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ విష్ణు నాట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ క్లాసికల్ ఇమాజినేషన్ దుర్గా కాలి ఫార్ లార్డ్ శివా వి ఆర్ నాట్ కన్సర్న్ విత్ ది ఇమాజినేషన్ ఫార్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్సో నాట్ ఇమాజినేషన్ actually every man all the devil god they have got their forms but the difference is vishnu the form of vishnu is eternal and the forms of devil god are the form our forms just like we have got now some form they are not eternal temporary we all sitting here we have got different forms but as soon as this form will be changed eh? we shall accept another form these forms gone forever it will never come again but vishnu form lord vishnu's form vishnu tattva vishnu tattva means uh, the forms of the original lord krishna krishna is the original form krishna is to bhagavan swayam but he expands in different forms the original form is krishna advaita yachate anadi ananta rupam ah in the brahma sangita it is say krishna advaita one there is no uh, second i mean to say counterpart but he expands advaita achuta 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 means uh, uh, which does not um, fall down achuta means fall down so god's another name is achyuta never falls down just a we living entity we fall down from spiritual world we fall down because we have fallen down therefore we have got this material world but krishna or god never falls down అద్వైత యచ్యుత అనాది అనంత రూపం అనంత ఎన్లెస్ యూ కెనాట్ కౌంట్ హౌ మెనీ ఫార్మ్స్ అర్ దేర్ అఫ్ ది సుప్రీం పర్సనాలిటీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దే హ్యావ్ బీన్ కంపేర్ విత్ ది ఇన్సెసెంట్ వేవ్స్ ఆఫ్ ది రివర్ దిస్ లైక్ ఇన్ ది రివర్ యూ స్టాండ్ అన్ ఎ ఫ్లోయింగ్ రివర్ you will find the waves are day and night flowing 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 similarly uh god krishna from him ananto koti anywhere a, a incarnation is coming up coming up advaita achyate anadi అనంత రూపం ద నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ మే బి దట్ ఇఫ్ ఆల్ ది ఫార్మ్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ ఫ్రామ్ కృష్ణ దెన్ కృష్ణ ఆల్సో మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ కమ్ ఫ్రామ్ సమ్ అదర్ ఫార్మ్ బికాస్ వీ సీ సపోజ్ ఐ హ్ గాట్ హండ్రెడ్ చిల్డ్రన్ సో ఐ వాజ్ ఆల్సో బోర్న్ బై సమ్ ఫాదర్ నో కృష్ణ ఇస్ నాట్ లైక్ దట్ అనాది he is not emanation from anyone glory be to krishna sthu bhagwan sa all others are emanation from krishna advaita achyate anadi ananta rupam adyam and he is the origin adyam purana the oldest then why krishna does not look like old man Hmm. just like in some other religious hmm, sect they 
present God as very old man. But Krishna is, although the oldest, because he is the origin of all emanation, he must be oldest. Baki, man, but he is Navajovananja. Just like a young man, uh, sixteen to twenty years old. That is Krishna. Jogesha. Uh, Krishna, the oldest of all, is still he appears. Uh, Navajovan. Navajovan is just youthful life is beginning. That is called Navajovan. So according to our human society, the youthful life begins at sixteen years. So Krishna is like that. He looks always sixteen to twenty years old, not more than that. We have never seen Krishna has become old. Addaiti Yachati Anadi Ananta Rupam. Lingani Lingani means four. So Krishna has many forms. As Krishna, as Vishnu, as Narayan, as Baladev, as Jagannath, so many. Govinda. There are thousands and thousands of forms. So we must see at least as one of such forms. Either you see Krishna form, or Rama form, or Vishnu form, or Narayana form, or Baladeva form, or his incarnation, Nishinga Deva form, uh, Matsa avatar, Meena avatar, so many. Uh, if we do not uh, increase our anxiety or inclination to see one of the forms of Vishnu, here it is specific elements and Vishnu, not others. Lingani, Lingani Vishnu, no nirikshate, nirikshato. If we do not see, then our eyes are exactly like the painted eyes on the plumes of the, on the feather or plumes of the uh, peacock. It looks very nice. Uh, but it has no value. No, it has no seeing power. So our, uh, these eyes are also painted because it is material. Uh, these eyes will remain when I shall give up this body, uh, but it will, ha- it will have no more seeing power. Uh, the seeing power is gone when the spirit soul gives us this body. So in spite of the beautiful eye, it is unable to see. Hmm. Similarly, so long we have got this instrument, uh, this is an instrument to what? Hmm. Māyaya, hmm. in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Ishara uh, sarvabhūtāna Riddese Arjuna Tishthati Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani Jantra Rurani Mayaya. Ishara, the Supreme Lord, Krishna, is sitting within everyone's heart and he is witness, Anumanta uh, Upadrashtya. Upadrashta, when he is seeing our activities, he is noting what I deserve, because our desires are coming one after another, one after another. So, according to our desire, Krishna is so kind, uh, he gives you a body. Ishara sarva bhutanam riddhesi arjuna tishtati. Ishara, the Supreme Lord, is sitting within the heart of everyone. So, and 
सर्वभूतानाम निर्देशी और जन तिष्ठति भ्रामयन एंड ही इज गिविंग अस चांस टू ट्रांसमाइग्रेट टू डिफाइंड टाइप्स ऑफ बॉडीज और स्पीसीज ऑफ बॉडी ही इज नोटिंग डाउन दैट दिस इज सोल इज वेरी मच फॉन्ड ऑफ फ्रेश ब्लड एंड raw meat or like it take the body of a tiger yes uh, this soul feels pleasure being naked or like it take the body of a tree it stand up naked for 10000 years uh satisfy your desire for being naked at 10000 years why 2 years 3 years or 5 years 10 years remain naked human body is meant for covering uh, not to become naked but if anyone develops the idea of become nude naked all right next time we get tree send up The example is there, Jamalajju. They wanted to be naked. Uh, Narad gave him opportunity. All right, he remained naked as trees. Uh, so therefore, uh, our business should be uh, to go to the temple, as it is described here. Padu ninang to drma janma bhajo. Those who are not moving, they just like trees. They do not move. So, if we do not move to the places where Vishnu's forms are there, uh, just like in India, we have got many uh, places of pilgrimage. Just like Bindam, there are a small city, uh, about fifty thousand at most population, but there are five thousand temples, big and small. Out of that, about one dozen temples are very very big, just like fort, uh, and there are small temples. So all together. Uh, it is a pub, um, city of fifty thousand population, but there are five thousand temples. Krishna, all Radha Krishna. So this is a chance. I come to Bindavan, and wherever you go, you see Radha Krishna. Uh, that will make your life uh, successful. By seeing, seeing Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, seeing, seeing, you will get an impression. Uh, and if you continue the inhabitants of Vrindavan, uh, you will find if when you go there that in the morning and evening, all of them they are going different temples and seeing the deity Radha Krishna. So there is no need of education. There is no need of philosophy. There is no need of science. Simply, if you visit temples of Vishnu, then your life is successful. This is the Krishna consciousness process. Simply, uh, if you move to the temples uh, and see with your eyes, very simple process. Our this Krishna consciousness program is so simple. At the same time, sublime that you become liberated at the end. Takta di hang punar janmanaiti. If you simply think of Krishna in that way, if you cannot read, then sit down and simply see the deities fall. Well, that will also be. Any anything done 
little dancing, little, little oh, ringing the cymbals or singing Hare Krishna mantra, anything you do, the children just like they are dancing, they are also being spiritually profited. It will never go in vain. Somehow or other he has shown some jubilation in front of the Lord. It is noted immediately. Therefore, this verse is in Padu Ninangtu Dhumajan Mabhaya. If you do not move to the temples, then what is the difference between your legs and the trees which are standing without legs? They have legs, but they cannot move. Uh, the trees, another name is Padopa. They drink water uh, with their legs. Uh, just like we drink uh, water in our mouth. So it is not that all animals act in the same way. No. Just like uh, there is a bird which is called bat, and they pass tool through the mouth. You know? Yes. Uh -huh. So there are different processes. Uh, they, the feces in the water, they uh, touch with the wings. Their wings are so perfect that three miles off another big fish is coming to eat them. They can understand by the wings. Immediately they take protection. These are all described in the Bhagavad you get so much perfect knowledge, scientific knowledge, a different species of life, how they are acting, how they are eating, how they are moving. All, everything is perfect there. Vidya Bhagavata Abhadhi. If you study Srimad Bhagavatam perfectly, then all your education is complete. You don't require any other book to read. You get from Svata Bhagavatam, uh, all material and spiritual knowledge, and at the end, Krishna. This is the prophet. Chetrani nanu brjato hariryo. Chetran. Chetra means uh, pilgrimage. This temple is pilgrimage. It is not ordinary house. It is Vaikuntha. In this Shastra it is said, that to live in the forest is uh, living in goodness. There are three qualities in know goodness, passion, ignorance in this material world. So when you live in the forest, you live in goodness. When you live in a city, in a town, then you live in passion. And when you live in a liquor saw, in a brothel or bavari street, then it is living in ignorance. There are three kinds of living. Everything, three kinds, sata, raja, tama, goodness, passion. But if you live in temple, you live in bhuikunt. Above goodness. So, all of you should be very careful that you may not fall down again from the Vaikuntha place. That should be your first business, that you have been given opportunity to live in Vaikuntha, but don't fall down again. Either you fall down on good goodness, passion, that is material. Uh, they go to a forest for meditation. But that is goodness, material goodness. But one who lives in temple, he is not concerned with material goodness, passion or ignorance. He lives in Vaikuntha. In this age it is not possible. You can imagine 
that now I shall go to Himalaya and forest and practice meditation. These are all bogus. You cannot do that. That is not possible. Hmm. Because the, the age is different. Uh, we are not trained in that way. Uh, formerly the brahmacari, they used to go to the forest, to the teacher, to the spiritual master, and they uh, acclimatized with the atmosphere. But here, uh, from the very beginning in the school, college, dormitories, mixing freely, doing all nonsense, how you can do? That's not possible. That is not possible. Therefore, take advantage of these temples, the centers we are opening, and leave in by And the authorities of the temple should be so careful that it does not turn into something else besides temple. Then you are safe. The Maya cannot touch you. What is this? Hmm. Then read. Especially for the householder devotees, the path of deity worship is strongly recommended. As far as possible, every householder, by the direction of the spiritual master, must install a deity of Vishnu. Forms like Radha Krishna, Lakshmi Narayana, or Sita Ram, especially, or any other form of the Lord, like Nursingha, Varaha, Gornitai, Matsya, Kurma, Shalagram, Shila, and many other forms of Vishnu, like Trivikram, Keshava, Achyuta, Vasudeva, Narayana, Damodara, etc., as they are recommended in the Vaishnava Tantras or Puranas. And one's family should worship strictly following the directions and regulations of Archana Vidhi. Now this is the important point. I understand that some of our householder devotees are ordering for deity in India. Uh, but here is the point. The point is that they worship strictly following the direction and regulation of Archana Vidhi. Uh, don't make a uh, play. If you follow strictly the deity worship method, then you establish. Otherwise, don't establish. It will be offense. Uh, one who is able to manage, just like we are showing the example how to worship deity in the temple, in the same way, if one can. The idea is that as here our devotees are engaged in the worship of the deity, similarly a householder, when the, all the family members are trained on how to worship the deity, then they can stand. Not that make a fuss, cleanliness and the rules and regulations, that must be. Uh, that is the duty of every. Uh, actually, the higher caste in India is still uh, everyone, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, they must have deity worship at home. Mm. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Suchinang Simatangi hi Juga Bhrashta Sanjayati. Anyone who is rich in India is still. They have got deity worship at home, very nicely. Uh, a separate house, a small house attached to their big buildings, and there is deity worship, and the, all the members should go there, offer prayer, just like we are doing the similar, same thing there. In Kanpur, there is one temple, uh, Dwarka uh, The temple belongs to a very rich man. Singhaniya, they are all the members, uh, it is the order of the lady, the mother of Mr. Singhaniya, that you, all of you, you must visit the deity. Uh, very rich man, always busy in business, 
But still they have to come to the temple and offer respect, take charnamita and prasadam, then go to office. If one misses one day, then he will be fine. Still, uh, the head man will be fined ten dollars and the next man five dollars, like that, according to position. So if one day somebody misses, immediately the priest will go with the bill of fine. Sir, you have to pay this fine. Yes, he's taking it. Still, there are such errors and regulations. So, DTYC, it is the duty of all uh, householders, DTYC. That means uh, automatically all the members become devotees. But it must be done according to there are sixty-four kinds of offenses in the devotion, letter of devotion is fine. DTYC for chanting Hare Krishna mantra, there are ten kinds of offenses. Uh, but uh, DTYC, there are so many offenses. Uh, these are described. You cannot sit down before the deity like this. You cannot yawn before the deity. You cannot talk nonsense before the deity. So many things are there. So, therefore, he said that strictly following the direction and regulation of archara vidhi. So you are being trained up. In India, they are trained up uh, since centuries. Their culture is different. They automatically can adopt, immediately. Uh, they are trained up. Uh, you are not trained up as yet. You are being trained. 